Hello, mathematician, and welcome to 1.2 Absolute Value. Our essential question today is what is absolute value and how is it related to opposites? You are going to need a writing utensil, your math notebook, your growth mindset, and some determination. We have two learning goals today. I can define absolute value and I can identify the absolute value of an integer. So let's start with some vocabulary. What in the world is absolute value? Well, absolute value is the distance a number is from zero. So let's look at our number line. And basically all we're saying is if I ask you the absolute value of three, what I'm really saying is how far away from zero is three? What's the distance between zero and three? So let's look at some examples. If I ask you the absolute value of negative eight, I'm really just saying what's the distance between zero and negative eight. So on my number line there on the left, I'm gonna start at zero and I'm gonna count how many spaces it is until I get to negative eight. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces. So the absolute value of negative eight is eight because it's eight spaces from zero. If I asked you the absolute value of negative three, well, that's one, two, three spaces away from zero. So the absolute value of negative three is three. What about the absolute value of seven? How far is seven from zero? Well, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces. So the absolute value of seven is seven. The absolute value of four, well, four is one, two, three, four spaces from zero, so it's four. Since absolute value is a measure of distance, absolute value is always positive. It's never going to be a negative number. So we know what absolute value is. How do we write absolute value? Well, it looks a little something like this. These two bars on either side of the four, those bars mean absolute value. So if you ever see a number written in those bars like that, that's just asking you what the absolute value of that number is. Our second learning goal of the day was to know what absolute value has to do with opposites. Well, let's find out. This is asking you what's the absolute value of 4 and the absolute value of negative 4. Well, 4 is 4 spaces from 0, so the absolute value of 4 is 4. Negative 4 is also four spaces away from zero. So the absolute value of negative four is four. Two and negative two, those are both two spaces away from zero. So the absolute value of them are both two. What absolute value has to do with opposites is opposites have the same absolute value. Let me say that again. Opposites have the same absolute value. With that being said, go ahead and pause the video and I want you to find the absolute value of the next four problems in your notes and then resume the video to check your work. All right, so the absolute value of negative 12 is 12, the absolute value of 34 is 34, the absolute value of 325 is 325, and the absolute value of negative 19 is 19. How did you do? Hopefully you did well. If not, let's figure out where you went wrong and correct those mistakes. Thank you again for watching 1.2 Absolute Value. Our essential question today was what is absolute value and how is it related to opposites? I have to give credit where credit is due as always. So thank you, Amy Grossbeck, Amanda Newsom, and Bricks and Borders for the amazing fonts and clip art. With that being said, go forth and be amazing.